Yeah. So, yeah, something, I, there's something I mention on my blog sometimes, but I think I need to mention it more because I don't think a lot of people understand why I called my blog uh, Presently Traveling and Presently Wandering. The reason I did that is because I live in the present moment. I don't concern myself with the past and, and I don't concern myself with what might be happening in the future. And that helps a lot uh, with this virus. You know, I know so many people, they're hiding away in their apartments, you know, thinking that, well, I gotta, you know, save my life from the virus, you know. <laughs> I don't think that at all. I just go about my business. Well, I do what we're supposed to do by law. I wear a mask when I go into the grocery store or any other store or if I'm doing my laundry inside the building, I wear a mask. But uh, when I'm out here, I don't wear any mask. I see people driving around with their masks on and some people even wearing them outside. So, you know, I understand the concern, but it's not a concern of mine because uh, I have faith in life and I live for the present moment. That's all that matters to me. And right now, the present moment is just fine. I'm having a great time out here. You know, I'm not gonna hide from life for fear of death. That's for sure. If I go down, I'll go down doing something I love doing. And a lot of people say, well, you're risking other people's lives. Well, I'm not. I tell you that right now. I don't risk anyone's life because I'm here alone and I never come in contact with people out here. If someone's on the trail that I want to go on, like I can tell there's a car parked there, I won't go on that trail. I'll find another one that there's no cars parked at. So, uh, no, I'm not risking anyone else's life. <clears throat> but people, you know, uh, people get angry with me because they see me going out every day. But these kind of people are the kind of people, even if the weather was good, they'd be sitting in their concrete mausoleums, you know, and they're just sitting there waiting to die. That ain't gonna be me. I said when I retired, I retired at 55 because I didn't wanna be one of the ones that reached 65 and kicked the bucket as soon as you're, uh, you're gonna retire, you know? So many people I saw that happen to where I was working. Some of them, just before they retired, they kicked the bucket, and just after they retired, they kicked the bucket. So that wasn't gonna be me, and it wasn't me because I've had 14 fantastic years of retirement now, and I'm still going. So, you gotta live, no matter what. Virus, no virus, you gotta keep living. And that's what I'm doing, let's go.